All right, what's up, everybody? Went shopping today and did some replacing here. Um, I don't know how to start this off, so I guess I'm just gonna kind of do the best I can. I am hand holding this camera, so bear with me. Obviously, one of these two lenses is a Canon L lens. We'll get to the other one in just a second. Now, this 50 millimeter. L lens is just phenomenal lens. Um, I had it before. I loved it. I thought I was going to love something else, so I traded it in. Ended up liking it, but not loving it. It's 1.2, so there's nothing else that can be said about that. The 50 millimeter, in my opinion, is probably Canon's best prime lens that they've ever made. There's nothing else like it on the market. Um, it's tack sharp. It, it's just, it's a beautiful thing. Unfortunately, there's a nasty price tag that comes with it. They're around $1,690, between, well, roughly between sixteen and seventeen fifty, depending on where you buy it. So, Unless you got some Mondo box to toss out at it, it's one of them things where it's an expense. With it, you get your little warranty card deal. Let's see here, I want to make sure we're in focus here. Then you get a nice little CD. Cheap ass lens pouch that's like made out of suede leather. Some trash. All right, now we're gonna get to the goodies. Might get it unstuck. Sorry, again, one-handed. You get a lens hood, and then the piece of resistance. Look at the lens. And what a lens it is. Um, again, I'm sorry guys, I'm shooting this one-handed. See if I can make sure I'm in focus. Or as close to focus as I could get it. So you can actually see what it looks like. There it is beautiful I wish the Canon would get rid of these stupid caps they got the new caps now but as you can see look at that bouquet of color within that glass huh she is a beautiful all right now we all know that I'm a Canon L lens holder and that I absolutely love them Definitely a Canon fanboy. Let me set this camera down for just a second. That's so why I could get this lens out of the way. I'll set it over here. I'm just going to put the rest of this crap back in this box. Now that all the goodies are out of it. Now, I'm going to give you guys a tip. When you get your new lenses and so forth, it's my wife calling, but when you get these new lenses, never throw these boxes out. Never. These you keep. Put them behind your wall, put them in the attic, in a closet. Don't throw this out. <coughs> Alright. Now, See if I can get this back in focus. There we go. Alright, no jokes, no laughing, no comments. I know it's a Sigma lens. Yes, I know. I'm aware. This is not the first Sigma lens I've owned. 
this is now the third one that we have. I had a 51.4 before I got my first 1.2L lens 50 millimeter. Then I have a 300 millimeter 2.8 prime. And now comes along this. Now this lens is supposedly better than the Canon L lens, the 1.4. Um, 35 millimeters is a sweet focal length for doing car photography, for doing some landscape photography, some close-up portrait shots, uh, head shots, shoulder head shots. Um, but this particular lens <clears throat> is Sigma's newest line. They call it their art line. Now, what's the difference in price? Well, this lens costs you about $900 to $1,000. All right, and what we got is the instruction manual, or what is this? I guess the instruction manual, a to our value customer thing. Then we have, about your warranty information and this looks like a warranty sticker All right. now I found what Sigma lenses <clears throat> they give you a nice I'm going to set this down for a minute Give me this nice little convenient pouch thing here. Throw the rest of the shit in this box. All right. I have a tripod. I'm just too lazy to get it. So depending on how bad this looks, I might do this video over again. So inside this little pouch is the lens. Oh wow! I'll give you a lens hood. And the pouch is quite nice. It's padded nicely. It's 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 pretty nice. It's like my 300 millimeter case and my 51.4 case was. All right. So, oh wow, that's it's kind of heavy. There's some weight there. All right. So let's check it out. Let's see. Here. Now, just food for thought. The Canon lens which is a 15 year old copy of the 35 millimeter lens. Oh, I like how they did that too. A lot of your lens hoods will be either uh, like a uh, sort of like a suede type insert or like a foam type insert inside your hood. And that's not. Alright, I'm looking at this. The first thing that strikes me is the weight of this. It's really heavy. I want to say that feels like metal. I'm not sure. Sounds like metal. Could be. Don't know. Alright. <clears throat> okay, so compared to the Canon L lens, which I had my hands on it today, um, the Canon L lens brand new is fifteen hundred dollars. Between between thirteen and sixteen hundred is what I've been seeing the average price for a thirty-five millimeter prime one point four <clears throat> aperture lens. Now, this lens the lens is a HSM lens, from my understanding is correct. Here. Let me see. I don't want to give you incorrect information. I'll have to double check about that and find out. I imagine it is an HSM lens. Let's see. Let's see. I'll take a peek while I'm sitting here. Yes. 
there would be the information that I'm looking for. Canon calls their lens ultrasonic motors, which is part of their focusing system. HSM stands for hypersonic motor, so it means it focuses pretty quickly, and it does it pretty quietly. So, back to what I was saying. The Canon lens is, like I said, between $1,300 and $1,600, depending on where you're at, where you see it. Now, this particular lens, you can pick it up for anywhere between $900 and $1,000. Um, oh, look at that. It's got a cute little A on it for art. Um, so there's a significant difference in price. Now, I was told by many people that this lens is far better than the 1.4 Canon L lens. Now, I know in the past from doing my own little testing that Sigma is no joke no more. They seem to be making some really high-end shit. So with that being said, we'll find out about this art lens and I'm going to put up some images and we're going to compare that to some of the other lenses I have. Um, I have a Canon 16-35-2.8 Mark II version um, and I'm going to put it up against this Canon 1.2 50mm. I'm going to shoot the 35 on a crop factor camera which is going to make this lens about a 50. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be about a 50. So let me double check that. Again, I want to give you as much accurate information as I can. Because the crop factor on a Canon 7D is a 1.6. The video that is being shot now is being shot with my Canon 5D Mark III. Let's go to Applications, Calculator. So if I'm correct, if I go 35 times 1.6 is a 56, so the Sigma is going to have a 6 millimeter difference in reach, so they're going to be damn near identical. I'm going to test both of these lenses on both the, the crop camera that I have and the full frame camera that I have, um, this giving me a accurate uh, description of whether or not the lens stacks up. I mean, we are not going to compare apples to apples. I mean, this is a Sigma lens, and the other lens is a Canon 50mm L lens, which, again, I, I would think that the Canon lens is going to wipe the floor with it. Now, I thought that, too, with the 300-2.8 that I had when I put it up against a Canon uh, 300 to 8 uh, identical matchup um, it was their HSM DG OS EX DG versus the Canon um, 300 millimeter 2.8 IS Mark II um, difference price tag of $5,000 versus I believe the Canon was somewhere around uh, 7,500 to 8,000 and I was able to test both of those lenses the beautiful thing is I have a very good friend that usually allows me to take these lenses and do as I wish with them and run them through I guess what I would call my own little test so I don't have to buy this stuff right away um, these two lenses I did purchase today uh, I do know for a fact that this Sigma is a good lens how good it is, I don't know, but I am going to find out. So, having that said, I hope that there was some interesting information here, and I'll be posting up some uh, test images and so forth, and you can make your own decision. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.